Funk and D-Sides, you know it. The recolored, remixed, reinvigorated mod we know and love. But what do we really know about it? Here's 10 things about Friday Night Funk and D-Sides. Let's get into it. Friday Night Funk and D-Sides is a reskin and remix mod directed by Dastardly Deacon. The name D-Sides is a play on the concept of B-Sides, songs on a cassette or vinyl that have been relegated to the other side of the album's main tracks. In its current state, D-Sides has all the weeks up to five complete, and a huge amount of bonus songs. Within the D-Sides FAQ, Dastardly Deacon talks about the process of creating a D-Sides character. First, they take their core traits and brainstorm what the opposite of that would be. For example, taking the idea of an ex-rock star and spinning it to be a currently active one. From there, if it's necessary, the lore for the character is rewritten to better fit these new traits, which thankfully for me are all explained within the D-Sides lore Google Doc. <sighs> I love it when mod devs make these. Putting up the tutorial, players will now notice the difference in design between our two main protagonists. The most notable differences being Girlfriend now has orange hair and freckles, and will rhythmically tap her finger and beat to the head bobs. And Boyfriend now has purple unkempt hair and noticeably sharper teeth. Just like in the base game, these two goobers are dating, and according to the lore doc, began their relationship over a debate about white versus dark chocolate. Girlfriend prefers white, and Boyfriend prefers dark. Boyfriend has it right, I do not like white chocolate. White chocolate tastes how old people smell. D-Side's boyfriend is the eldest of three siblings, himself, Ritz, and Miku. Their father, Greg, is the CEO of a largely successful video game company, so money ain't a thing. Boyfriend also has two guinea pigs named Eminem and Beethoven, who he treats like his babies, and considers them a test run for actual fatherhood. Daddy Dearest's D-Side variant is just as protective of his daughter as the base game. In Girlfriend's portion of the lore document, it states that she had very few boyfriends before Boyfriend, and wants to see more of the world her father has been shielding her from. All of Girlfriend's past male friends have either taken long vacations or moved to different countries, including a very close friend of Girlfriend's named Dwayne. We'll learn more about Dwayne a few facts from now. Daddy Dearest's D-Side Designs features a business on the top, pleasure on the bottom sort of fashion sense with jeans and a large belt buckle topped with a suit and tie. Their iconic purple skin is now red and their stubble has been replaced by a full beard. Though their idle animation is nearly the same, their singing animations are much more physical and their eyes only glow when singing. The two Halloween-themed fiends, Skid and Pump, are wearing new costumes in their D-Side designs. Skid is dressed like Dracula slash vampire, and Pump is a ghost. In the lore of D-Sides, Pump is actually recently dead and wears the sheet to disguise their decaying body. Skid's mother Leela is an investigator of the paranormal, and studies Pump's condition while still keeping his fate a secret. Since Leela and the Dearests are so close, Girlfriend and Skid are considered cousins. Leela often uses the Dearests' spooky, creepy mansion to conduct paranormal experiments, which led to the creation of Chester. Chester is D-Side's monster. He was once a piece of cherry candy that Skid dropped into a vat of chemicals left behind by Leela's experiments that grew sentience. After growing and expanding into its current form, the creature began to experience an insatiable hunger, and eventually had its set sight on boyfriend and girlfriend, who Chester would pursue no matter what. During week 5, Chester has a new companion riding on their shoulder. This is Lemon Bambino. Chester met Bambino in the produce aisle of Walmart and quickly learned the little guy was sentient and decided to bring him home. The two best friends have now teamed up to ruin Boyfriend and Girlfriend's Easter. When Chester appears during week 5, the crowd, including Girlfriend, all become strange undead creatures and share the same eyes and grin. Eventually, partway through the song, the crowd begins singing in unison, and the scroll speed changes frequently and drastically, making for an eerie and difficult mechanic. Pico and the gang headline week 3, though their redesigns may seem familiar to fans of Pico's school. Pico's design is based on Cyclops, Nene's design comes from Cassandra, Darnell and Alucard have swapped designs, Cyclops now looks like Pico, and Piconjo is based on Hanzo. Now you're probably thinking, didn't a few of these characters canonically die in Pico's school? Well in the D-Sides universe, the events of Pico's school were a lot different. Pico was friends with both groups, the Goths and the Normal Kids, but felt more comfortable with the Normal Kids. One day, the leader of the Goths didn't show up to school, and the two friend groups realized Cassandra's plan to take down the school, which none of the Goths were down with. After attempting to talk Cassandra out of her plan, someone had alerted the police, and she was shot and killed in the conflict. This affected Pico so much that he truly believes that he is responsible for her death, and completely changes him as a person. After having no contact with his friends for a considerable amount of time, Pico invites them to Philly to form a gang of hired assassins. Also, Pico Kanjo just showed up, he wasn't part of the gang, everyone just accepted his presence. Week 3 is Pico and the gang's attempt to carry out the contract given to him by Daddy Dearest to take out Boyfriend. During this week, Pico will fire shots at the player who has to dodge the oncoming bullets by pressing black notes. The dodge animations are based on different Sonic art. 
Mommy Mirist is an ex-pop star who constantly throws out of retirement concerts that are insanely popular. Just like Daddy Dearest, her skin is now red instead of purple, but wears more casual summertime clothes than her red dress and suit jacket counterpart. Her eyes also only glow when singing. The henchmen are now red-skinned and mohawked, but strangely enough are also dressed exactly like Mommy Mirist. Week 4 takes place in the sky, as both the four and background characters are standing atop their own jet, with the occasional cloud flying by. The Dearest's outfits change during week 5, with mom dressed as a bunny girl and dad dressed in his Sunday best. The Christmas themed week has been changed out for Easter, and a number of D-side characters are onlookers. Just behind girlfriend we can see Sans, Hanzo, Hank J. Wimbledon, and Ed, Tom, and Matt from Ed's World. Even further back a little harder to see, we have the original Starwalker, Miku, Ritz, and Pico's teacher. Among them are Cami, Philip Lol, Ellis Bros, Beethoven, and GC, who all worked on the mod. The mall Santa has been replaced by an equally nervous Easter Bunny. Though they haven't been in the mod yet, the lore document details the future iteration of D-Side Senpai. Known as Sensei, this opponent is a fighting game character likely based on the Street Fighter series. Sensei was once the young adventurous type, but after 700 years of martial arts, now has taken on the role of a teacher, though still retains their fighting form. Now, remember Dwayne, girlfriend's friend who seemingly vanished? As it turns out, Dwayne had asked girlfriend's dad if it would be alright if they started dating, to which Daddy Dearest used his demonic powers to banish him into girlfriend's favorite game. Being trapped within the game made Dwayne grow bitter and angry, vowing to go through whoever they had to to get out of this personal hell. Much like the relationship between Senpai and Spirit, Dwayne is likely a soul trapped within Sensei, a soul that will be released during D-Sides Week 6. We got a glimpse of both of them in the D-Sides Funkin' Forward trailer. As far as Week 7 goes, we caught a glimpse of Tankman's D-Side design in the very opening of the game, with an updated Newgrounds logo featuring him flying a plane. The fact that Plane Man wasn't mentioned in the Funkin' Forward trailer means we're likely to not see them until after the version 3 update. There's a hidden Week 0 in the Story Mode menu that can only be accessed by pressing left on the tutorial. This week features a crash test dummy version of Boyfriend named Placeholder. Placeholder uses vocals from every character in the main game, though somewhat bit crushed. Week 0 is the only week in D-Sides that isn't in the original game, and seems to be a precursor to the entire mod. The stage seems to take place in the Dearest's house, as both pictures of baby girlfriend and the Dearest's can be seen on the walls. Due to the fact that there's numerous boxes and simply the darkness of the room, it can be assumed that Placeholder's songs take place in an unused area of the Dearest's house. So now that we've covered the main weeks, what's in store for future updates to Friday Night Funkin' D-Sides? According to the D-Sides FAQ, the team plans on adding the main game story up to week 8 when it comes out, but also a number of D-Side covers for different mods. In addition to the current EXE and Orpal Guy covers, the team is planning on adding covers from Versus Tricky, Witty and Carol, and Versus Matt, but those are just the ones included in the FAQ. In the D-Sides post F3 Q&A, there was talks about Hypno's Lullaby covers, Mario's Madness, and a few jokes about Versus Bob and Dave and Bambi covers, so we might be getting a bit of everything. Everything. Dastardly Deacon also stated during the Versus Imposter V4 Dev livestream that Imposter covers were happening. The D-Sides FAQ also states that if you want to make your own D-Side characters covers and mods, then the team is totally cool with that, as long as credit is given where it belongs. If you want to hear more about D-Side covers, I've actually released an extra things at the same time as this video, so go check it out. And that's 10 things about D-Sides I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and until next time.